What's up, Cat Pie? I'm Israel Brown, and welcome to our first CTV episode. And I'm Micah Skiles. We have a packed episode today, so let's get right into it with our school announcements. Homecoming is over now, sadly. The dance is on our September 28th. Congratulations to our homecoming king and queen. Here are some flits from this week. Winnie the Pooh finished his final performance on October the 6th. Congratulations to the cast and crew on putting on a great show tonight. The Roar Store opened its doors on Tuesday. That means everyone can come get cookies October 1st. Follow them on Instagram and TikTok at CHS Roar Store for the latest sales updates. Creator Cougars is coming to Capitol High School. To stay updated with it, it's following Pierre Cougars on CHS on Instagram and TikTok. The PSAT is tomorrow, October 9th. Don't be up all night on 2K. Eat a solid breakfast and bring your calculator pencils and a snack. You got this. Here's what's happening in sports today. Girls soccer at home versus St. Joe at 6 p.m. Good luck. Varsity volleyball at home versus St. Albans Ripley tryout VIP tryout at the school. Thursday, October 10th, we've got girls soccer at home against Shady Spring at 6 p.m. And volleyball varsity and JV at home against Charleston Catholic High School and South Charleston High School. And on Friday, October 11th, football game at home versus Hurricane at 7 p.m. Come watch the student selection theme is Minions. Come show up and show out for our football team, Cat Pie by for you. Also a blood drive and the Voice of Democracy contest. Saturday, October 12th <clears throat> is going to have enough events for everyone to be somewhere. Boys soccer, varsity senior day at home versus Nicholas County. Band competition at Winfield High School. Vo volleyball varsity away at the Hoover Classic. Volleyball JV away at the Woodrow Shirley Brownville Woodrow Tournament. <clears throat> and don't forget, students with Three or less absences on October the 22nd or the 23rd will be treated to ice cream, so don't skip school. And plus, if seniors don't miss 12 absences or any days, then they will receive a graduation course. Finally, congratulations to the pride of Capitol High. We are so proud of all of you. Keep it up. Now, what's up with pop culture, Haley? Thanks, Izzy. This week we're talking about Sabrina's Carpenter new tour, Short and Sweet. It was announced on September 23rd, 2024, and her opening show was in Columbus, Ohio. She had a surprise cover popping out every single show. On September 25th, she sang Mamma Mia and shocked all of her fans. Were you at Homecoming? Our Homecoming King was Joel Scaff, and our Homecoming Queen was Sophia Scruggs. They were crowned in our football game against Parkersburg. And don't forget about the new movie coming out this weekend, Piece by Piece, which is also an animation of Pharrell Williams. And that's all for Pop Culture. Back to you. Thanks, Haley. Today, I'm with David Robinson from our football team. Thanks for joining me. All right, so uh, how's the season been going for you so far? It's been going great. You know, great improvements from last year. I think right now we currently got a winning record. That's way better. I love that for us. All right. How's, what's been your highlight of the season so far? Say last game versus Parkersburg on the kickoff and center when I blocked three people for Damien. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, how do you prepare for a big game like our spring alley game? Spring alley game, make sure I'm right mentally and physically, eat right, make sure I stay locked in. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What does Cap High by 40 do? It's a mentality. You gotta make sure you're trying to about everything by 40. In the classroom, Oh, okay. Just anything to win. Okay. Okay. How's it feel to have Torrey? What does he do for the football team? It's great. One of the best coaches I've ever had. He helps us with our strength and conditioning. He's a great, a great person all around. Tell us something. Like, tell us about your personal football career. Um, I think it's going pretty good. I've been playing since I was like four up until now. Hopefully, I can keep playing after high school. Keep the career going. What do you want, like, how do you want to play? Like, do you want to make it to the NFL? Do you have any dreams that it's coming to college? I'm trying to go to college and make it to the NFL. I want my family out of state. All right, well, thank you, David. And let's check in with Shamar to see what we have for lunch. All right. What's going on, Capital Cougars? Today for lunch for October 8th is Taco Tuesday. And don't forget to eat your vegetables. Stay hungry, folks. All right, Cougars, here's your quote of the day. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success by Albert Schweitzer. Did you know today is National Fears Day? My biggest fear is heights. So let's face our fears together. We should go to a 160-foot skyscraper 
and just have Mikey at the top with no support, so he has to climb 160 floors down. Bruh. <laughs> just kidding. We have a new returning segment this year called Class Spotlight. Take it away, boy boy. Uh, thank you, Gigi and Micah. Uh, I'm here with one of the counselors from Capitol High School, Mr. Taggett. And I'm here to ask some questions about the PSAT for tomorrow. Well, I don't think they should worry about anything. It's a practice test uh, to get them ready for the digital version of the SAT that they take in their 11th grade year. Um, so, you know, really shouldn't worry. Just go, go out there, do the best you can, and uh, learn from it. There's a tutorial that's linked through it, linked to it through College Board, uh, that gives them an opportunity to uh, improve their score so that in their 11th grade year they can get the best score possible. Well, uh, that's a tough question. It really is. You can't you can't beat the box, as they would say. Uh, but I tell students all the time, don't leave anything blank. Uh, make an educated guess. Uh, you know, if you can rule out the the two obvious answers that are far off from what you think it is, I, example, there's a math question, uh, then you've got a 50-50 chance. So, so make your best educated guess, uh, and you'll get a percentage of those right. Uh, uh, other than that, reading. Uh, you know, all students, it's been proven that the better you read, uh, you know, the better your scores are going to be on, on the uh, SAT uh, and or the ACT. So I would encourage students on, on their free time, uh, summer breaks, weekends, pick up, pick up a book. Great question. Don't stress. That's the number one thing. Uh, you, you students tend to overthink it, and they worry, so they don't get a good night's sleep. Uh, I tell students the night before you shouldn't really even do a lot of studying. You know, if you want to review, just you know, lightly review some of the math equations or some of your history or English. That's fine, but you go get a good good dinner and get a good night's sleep. Stay off social media because that tends to distract you. And cause other issues, so turn it, turn that thing off, and get a good night's sleep. Uh, thank you for letting me stop by, Mr. Sayed. You're welcome. Now let's close the show off. Thanks for watching our first episode of CTV, and make sure to tune in for our next episode on Thursday, October 10th, bought by our other CTV crew. Stay kind and remember, everybody, everybody is somebody at Capitol High School. Today is National Freedom. Freezer? <laughs> it says face your fears and you said freezer. Okay. If anybody needs to be back here and click for me, it's him! Bro, Bob! It's you! you. I have so many bloopers. It's you! you have a cut, cut, cut. I go Tuesday. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Izzy, you stuttered too. Everybody, everybody is somebody in capital, capital high school. school. You say everybody is something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even do nothing. <laughs> <laughs>